Thank you for joining everyone. Today we will explore the QTest data query feature. The data query is a fantastic piece of functionality in QTest that allows us to filter through project data or objects as QTest calls them with criteria that we specify. We can also batch edit entities, batch delete entities, and batch approve test cases using this feature. The data query is usable on the requirements and testing sections of QTest, although this view should look familiar as it's the default view slash functionality of the defect management section of QTest. All right, to access the data query, let's go into our test design section of QTest. And at the top left of the screen, we will see that there is a data query button. Let's click that. And this takes us into the data query screen right here. Alternatively, if we close that, alternatively, you can select a folder and right click on that folder and choose data query from here. What this will do is it will open up the data query and it will already select your module criteria for you uh, for that specific folder. You'll notice here on the left, we have system queries and we have uh, different folders. We have my queries, team queries. Uh, if we actually look at some of the system queries, these are out of box queries. We can see that if we click on all test cases, it'll bring back a report grid looking screen of all of our test cases. We have approved test cases, etc. We can also go to this customize view button here in the middle of the screen, and this will let us choose what uh, test case data we see in this report. So we can select assign to, flip it over to the right, hit OK, and now we can see who these test cases are assigned to. If we want to create a new query, we'll go over to our My Queries folder here. And if you click on the folder level, it should populate a new query here. Uh, if it does not, we can go ahead and clear uh, with the clear button to start a new query. Uh, the name of this one, let's name it Assign to myself. So we'll kind of copy the uh, out of box query that we just looked at up there. The criteria, we will choose assign to. The operator, we will do equal to. And then we will assign this to myself and run the query. And this pulls back all test cases that are assigned to myself. To save this query, we can use the save query button here at the top and this will save it into the my queries folder over here with the query name that we chose but before we do that let's look at one thing here so we have a my queries box here to the right of the query name and if we select this then when we save the query it'll actually go to this team queries folder here so anyone on the team can use it if we don't select it then it'll save to my personal folder so for now we'll leave it unselected hit save and we can see that we have our new query here now, if we go back in here and create a team query, uh, this one's selected on module MD15. For now, that's fine. Let's select the team query box and hit save. And now we can see that we have this query down here in the team folder. So anyone on this team in this project will be able to access it. Okay, so next let's look at how to do mass updates in QTest. So these are called batch edits, uh, batch approvals of test cases, and batch deletes. So I'm gonna hop over to an out-of-box query up here. So all test cases. I'll customize the view, make sure that assigned to myself is showing. Hit okay. And let's scroll down and look at some of these test cases. So these ones are assigned to myself here, but the ones above are not. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and grab a chunk of these using the shift key. And I can go up to the edit box here and say batch edit. I will do assign to, I will choose myself. I will hit confirm, processing, hit okay. And now we can see that all of those test cases are now assigned to myself here in QTest. Now we can also batch approve test cases. So let's choose a subset of these that I just modified. Go to edit, batch approve. And we'll see that we can batch approve these five and we can send out emails if we want and then hit confirm. It'll process for a bit and now these five test cases are approved. And then lastly here, uh, very similar as we select a few test cases and we have a delete selected items button here. So if we click that and then hit yes, this is how we would mass uh, delete or batch delete uh, multiple entities in here. And again, this works in the test design, or we could hop over to requirements, uh, works in the requirements um, 
test execution, we can data query. So it works in multiple of these modules. Uh, does not work in the test plan though, so keep that in mind. Okay, once again, thank you for joining everybody. If you have questions or comments on this tutorial, please let us know down below in the comments and we will get back to you. Have a good one.